Oh, what is up guys? Today's video is going to be all about creating art, uh, whatever that art form is for you. And the entire point of this video is that creating art is what's enjoyable and the process of creating itself is what we enjoy. But despite how much we love doing what we do, despite how much we love making art, we all know someone that's amazing at making art, except they never freaking make art. For various different reasons, we convince ourselves to not make art. And I don't think that just comes down to not being confident enough. I think there's a couple of stumbling blocks and I think there's ways to overcome those stumbling blocks and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. And this video is also going to be mentioning a project that I'm dropping today, a little photo series, which was my way of forcing myself to get out of a creative rut. And uh, if you're in a creative rut right now, I hope this video can help you too. And I hope that this video inspires you to really try and make more art in 2022. Also, if I'm a bit out of it, I apologize. I have had to film this video three times because the autofocus has failed me. Stumbling block number one is the most obvious and the most common and that is comparison. Not only does comparison kill your creativity because you're comparing to other people, you're copying and you're trying to be like them. Comparison can flat out right get you to the point where you don't make art at all. Out of all of these stumbling blocks, comparison is the one that gets me to the point real fast where I don't even want to pick up the camera. Oh man, this shot is going to be amazing. What a sick shot! Everybody is unique making their own art with their own unique message. So there's still a point in making your own art. Quick interruption, guys. The B-roll is a little confusing. Uh, the only theme connecting all the B-roll is that it, they are little moments throughout the entire year of me doing my thing, making videos, having fun. Back to the freaking video. It's already seeming like this video is not going to be that good. But uh, we're not going to say that. We're not going to do that. What do you want? What do you want? you want? Stumbling block number two is expectations. This is when you're entering a session, whether that's going to be taking photos or painting or making a video or editing a video, you're entering that creative session with this expectation of having to make something amazing. When I do think that we should strip that away and just focus on enjoying the moment, enjoying the process, because that's ultimately what brings us joy. Okay, there we go. It's not always necessarily easy to get out of this rut or to overcome these creative obstacles, but it's worth it because the act of creating is so enjoyable and such a valuable experience that it's worth fighting for. I'm just frustrated because I always have a damn vision and then it doesn't freaking happen. This video was supposed to be amazing, but video editing isn't easy, you know? Telling a good story isn't easy. <coughs> exactly. <coughs> yeah. The bigger problem is that having big expectations for your art and having this expectation that you have to draw something amazing or take an amazing photo often puts so much pressure on you that you never even pick up the camera in the first place. This next stumbling block is something that uh, someone told me and I'm so glad they told me about this. And that is that often when we get these beautiful ideas, um, we protect them and we come up with a million different excuses not to execute on them because we need better equipment or we need to upgrade our skills or whatever. Um, we make these excuses and we tell ourselves that one day when the time is right we will execute on this idea because this idea is amazing and it deserves to be really well executed except that idea never actually happens. And the reality is that if you were to execute on that idea, the next idea would come along and the next idea would be way better and you would be better prepared for the next idea because you went through the process of executing on the first idea. In order to learn, you have to do, and in order to do, you have to lower your expectations, stop comparing your work. And then stumbling block number four is, I need to check my app. You need to stop being afraid of what other people will think. What's amazing about this stumbling block is that it doesn't just apply to people that are publishing their art. I've experienced this with like my sketchbook. 
um, I suck at drawing and I want to hide that from people when I don't even publish that work. Yet I'm still afraid of what people are going to think if they were to somehow magically find my sketchbook <laughs> and see the horrible drawings. Obviously it's stupid, but the reality is that a lot of people are afraid of what people are going to think of their art and that just puts them off and they just don't feel like making art at all. Of course, the camera guy has to walk across the river twice. Okay, <laughs> those are the negative aspects, the stumbling blocks, the things that I think can uh, stop us from making art or they can just cause us to be less creative. Now we can get into the positives, the ways that we can fight back and freaking make art in 2022. Or now, I mean, there's still a couple days left. My first tip is the most brutal. This isn't gonna work for everybody. And that is to just fight every instinct you have inside and just freaking make art and publish it for everybody to see and make a big deal out of it, which is exactly what I'm doing with a project that I'm calling Backseat Rain. And this video is included in that. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I was in the backseat of a car. It was really rainy and I was sitting there with my camera and I decided to take out my camera and take some photos. And the, that car ride lasted close to an hour. And not only did I take photos in the backseat of that car, I loaded them over to my phone and edited them right there and then on my phone. And I lost myself in that moment and it was amazing. That's the entire reason I freaking love making art. And uh, when I was done editing those photos, I thought, you know what, I should just publish these. Not just a couple photos, but a series that all work together. Anyway, all the links to that is down in the description. I'm also gonna be making some wallpapers available to download for free if you wanna turn these weird abstract photos into your wallpaper for your phone. Um, if that's your jam, then you can do that too. Tip number two would be implementing habits. These are small things that you can do on a consistent basis. These are things like draw once a day for 20 minutes, edit photos once a day, take photos once a day. In my case, for the next month, I'm gonna be forcing myself every evening go out and take photos and videos for a future art project that I'm working on. I need tons of time lapses of the sky and photos of the sky. So I'm gonna be forcing myself to do that every evening and I'm really excited because that's literally gonna force me to go out and do what I love. So uh, yeah, I think implementing habits is a cool way to make more art. Tip number three is to intentionally have constraints so lately I've been getting into this habit of like sitting inside the truck while it's raining because I freaking love the sound of the rain um, while I'm sitting inside of the truck. And uh, I take my camera with me and obviously sitting in that seat, being in the vehicle, there's a limited amount of shots that you can get. So all of a sudden I'm forced to be more creative. So I start messing with shutter speed and stuff. And uh, that's been really fun for me. Okay, so I mentioned that I would have a tip for dealing with expectations and uh, the tip is, to set expectations. If you're unable to completely get rid of expectation when you're making art, set your own expectations and set them intentionally low. Um, and that way you still have a goal going into the creative session, but it feels a lot more approachable. I'm listening to Uptown by Andy Minio, which is like all about New York, which is the opposite of this. Yeah, going for a little walk, gonna get some B-roll. Like that dude walking with a donkey. We need shots like that. And then the final two tips. Um, one, if you can't convince yourself to make art, seek out encouragement from your inner circle because oftentimes there are people around you that love the art you make and uh, they might give you the push that you need to just get back into it. And the final tip is more of a reminder. Being able to create is a gift and it's enjoyable and it's a gift that is worth giving yourself. Yo, wow. Filming this video three times. Uh uh. So I want to directly challenge you, the person on the other end of the screen. This would be weird if it was a TV and there's a bunch of people watching. But you on the other side of the screen, I want to challenge you to make more art in 2022. Do it. So uh, make art and uh, subscribe. <laughs>